Guess who's back up in the mix with my big black shades, read my big black lips. Uh, the night is still young like a nine-year-old kid. Yeah. Yo, hello guys, it's Chris, and today I'm back with another tutorial, and today, <coughs> sorry I'm a little bit sick, wait a minute, wait a second, today I'll be doing a tutorial on this VHS kind of looking black bars that I used in my whale sniping clip of the week 7 so that's my edit made for my clan recent clan and here is the previews so I'm gonna explain uh, the first version of this is when I stretched uh, actually I changed the size of the clip just from left and right side so it came like this so you can see hood minimap and everything and the other version is where you where I did right here so it's normal resol resolution but you can see hood minimap and everything because it's like a regular like uh, regular oh regular black bars sorry for my language and I think I'm doing pretty well but I'm trying to I'm trying my best okay so I'm gonna show you uh, my preview that I made wait for it I just let me get the real resolution. So here, that was the first version, and this is the second one. And also that version's on cinematic. So the one that are just black bars, uh, the soldier and everything is normal, and where I stretched. And Changed almost everything. Soldiers can't fuck up. So I suggest you to, cl for clip, use version two, where you mess around with clip, because it looks way much better and realistic. And for cinematics, use just black bars. So I'm gonna try make this tutorial fast as I can. So sorry if I'm gonna go too fast. You can slow down video or make a pause or something like that this is my I think third attempt I tried with debut or whatever called program and it's like the biggest shit of the program I couldn't even import the clip I mean capture of my tutorial so here is the thing that I did for tutorial but I fucked everything so I'm gonna make a new Position. I'm gonna find out where shot is so it's right here I'm gonna drag marker so I know where it is wait I'm, I'm just fucked up I'm sorry so this effect I'm probably using for before shot so I'm gonna call this retro okay HS BB like black bars. I'm gonna press Ctrl Shift D to split layer. I'm gonna type on CC JAWS. I'm gonna drag that on. And I'm gonna put this to 75. 90 degrees, be sure to make 90. And hate to it to 0. So you can mess around with this complexion, compactum, whatever, but I think 75 to 70 is the best, so, okay, we're gonna make another new solid, black, we're gonna call this regular, BB, and now, I'm gonna drag CC Joe's, so, 
I'm gonna use 86 and 80, so I got a normal, regular black bar. So as you can see, we got this ugly shit. So it looks like it looks like shit for real. And I'm gonna cut that part. It's only on a shot. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And also for this tutorial, you will need to have a Sapphire third plugins so you can find them I really can't help you about that because I don't know where did I, what did I get to them and yeah so we're gonna make a new adjustment layer we're gonna split that with control shift D and now we got the adjustment layer under the under our black bars retro black bars and I'm gonna type on sapphire s underscore tv damage and the, actually I'm gonna just leave the default okay wait uh, you can mess around with this a little bit and we're forced okay so this looks cool way much better you can mess around with fish eye that's pretty cool I'm gonna do something not zero uh, I'm not gonna mess around with that okay I'm gonna yeah, I didn't do anything okay so we got the hour damage if this is too bright or too strong for you you can mess around with light you can put it to screen Wait, wait, I forgot something. Wait. Yeah. Uh, put this to normal and press T for the opacity and put this to 70 to 75. So, and be sure to try to find a Gaussian blur. Put it on that layer and we're gonna use 50 good and this is the most important thing for this effect put Gaussian blur on top of that adjustment layer actually put TV damage behind the Gaussian blur because if you don't do that Gaussian blur will blur everything and it looks like shit you can mess around with you can put blurness to 10 but I think 15 is pretty cool and looks retro. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut the clip that I don't wanna use and find the part that I wanna use. So it's right here. second version of this is that you take your clip, click on that, you'll got those blue boxes on your preview screen and we're gonna take those two, doesn't matter which one, left or right, and we're gonna make them something like this, about this, and again, be sure to split the regular black parts find where the shot is in your kill cam so it's right here I'm gonna control shift D and delete that part so we got retro normal retro normal and I forgot something I'm gonna split this layer and drag this out That's pretty much it about the basics. We got some black bars, that's pretty much it. And we're gonna do for this one, we're gonna make new adjustment layer. Also, I'm gonna control shift B to split the layer. 
Uh, I'm not sure did I say. I think I did to make Sapphire plugins for this so type on Sapphire uh, S underscore TV. No, fuck that. Vignette or type, however to say that. I don't care and I'm stupid. Go where the black bar is. Press shift so it will probably just I don't know, magnetic by whatever. Drag Sapphire vignette and I'm gonna mess around with settings a little bit. Okay, so this pretty much done. I think I would like more like this. And I'm gonna type S underscore film damage and I'm gonna leave the default settings of that because it looks pretty cool and that's pretty much it so also I'll, be le I'll leave the download link of this uh, project in the description so uh, also you will got these effects so I'm gonna control shift actually control C control V so we got this color effects. You will get them. And thanks me later. So did I forgot something? I'm going I think I'm gonna put Gaussian blur here. you get this ugly screen box fractures whatever you just make an adjustment layer put it under your black bars type on transform and and put scale to 101 it's fine or maybe 102 Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. The first one is with black bars, so we got these nice colors with some vignettes and stuff like this. And that's pretty much it guys for this tutorial. Also, I'll leave the download link of this project in the description. Preview is here one more again. And yeah, this uh, just let me preview this. Start from here, and I'm gonna end here with the third. And yeah, guys, <coughs> now I'm gonna talk. Well, up talk. Sorry. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna because this is pretty fast. So leave a like and leave a like and comment on this video. So. Please help me reach 1k. That's pretty much it. Wait, so I forgot to turn off. I forgot it every time. So, request more tutorials. Everything you want, everything you saw in my edits. I'll try to find out some ways, like I did in this one. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Hope you don't like this one and yeah go check out my editing team that will be a link in description so uh, uh, yeah I forgot so this effect is little literal ah uh, whatever it's popular as you can see in some obey editors obey ATCs that kind of style editor and yeah pretty cool pretty nice and just let me find out where is my editing team I can find the link so be sure to check out my recent 
video and my recent tutorial. Actually, it's not gonna be recent because I'm gonna upload one more edit. So yeah, this is my editing team. We're uploading edits, call, probably we're upload some packs and stuff like that. We're gonna upload more tutorials and yeah. Be sure to subscribe me, it's Cruz, and subscribe my clan Whale Sniping and the Storm Empire clan. Okay, so that's pretty much it guys. Here's the preview and I'm out.